Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. And today I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. So first of course you're going to want to open up Premiere Pro in whatever workspace you like to work in. Mine is a little weird, I know. The first step of course is to bring in the footage that you want to use. So after you filmed yourself doing whatever, you know, on opposite sides of the screen, you're going to bring that footage in and then bring in the two clips that you want to layer on top of each other. For my example, I'm using my Spotify Wrap 2017 lip sync video. So I have two clips here both of the same time frame. So the way that I am going to sync up my video is by using the audio from the music. However, if you're doing speaking, it's going to be a little bit different. Same principle though, it'll just take a little bit more time to get the timing right. So I'm going to start by expanding this clip so that it is on the rows V2 and A2 so that I can slide it over top of my initial clip. I'm going to zoom in here and in order to sync up the audio, I'm going to look at the waveforms and make sure that they match. So I'm just going to drag that over just slightly so I can see these little shapes lining up in the waveforms. And then if I play it back, it sounds like it's all synced up. This is half the battle. Once you get your two clips lined up so that both of yourselves are playing at the right time, there's only a few more steps to finish this off. You're going to select your top clip go into the effect controls panel and then scroll down to where you see opacity and this um, mask drawing tool. It's called free draw bezier, whatever that means. You're going to click on the little pen tool and it will start a new mask. Now all you need to do is go over to your clip and draw down the line where you want the video to be split. Now that you've selected just the half of the clip that you want to be visible, you'll notice that your other self will pop up on the other side of the screen. Now if we were to just let this play, you can see that there is a bit of a harsh line here. Now if, now, if you're like me, this would be the stage where you start to freak out. Why isn't it working? But don't worry, there's a few steps we can take to blur that line. The reason why, no matter how consistent you make your lighting when you are filming your doppelganger scene. The thing is your body moves and your body has an impact on what shadows are cast on the wall behind you. So when I was filming on the right side of the screen, my left side self was not there to cast any shadows. Therefore the lighting was slightly different. In order to make it so that these two different kinds of lighting blend together well in the middle, we are going to use a few tools in the mask path section of the effect controls panel. You're going to go ahead and change your mask feather up to 80 to give it a nice blur and then your mask expansion to 15. Now when you play it, you'll see that there is way less of a line between the left and the right side. And that's it. That's all you need to do to clone yourself. It's actually very simple. It might seem intimidating at the beginning, but all you need to do is create a mask and then change the feather and expansion to make the lighting consistent across both sides of the frame. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Comment below if you have any questions at all about Premiere Pro or any other tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. And of course, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Of course, if you want to see content in between then, make sure you hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. They are both at Katie Steckley. I'd love to see you over there. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.